My name is Jessie Gallimore and I'm going to teach you guys how to make cake pops. Cake pops are delicious treats, a favorite dessert, and can be given as gifts. So let's get started. A few materials to make this cake pop recipe. The first is your oven. Then you're going to need a cake pan. This is 9 inches by 13 inches, which is kind of the standard. Then you're going to need a mixing bowl and a mixing spoon. Obviously that can vary. And then you're going to need a measuring cup. You need a brownie mix, and it can be any kind of brownies that you like. You need frosting, uh, chocolate for this recipe. And you need melting chocolate. And you can find all these ingredients at your nearest grocery store. I found them all at Jewel and you can find the melting chocolate near the fruit. For baking, you also need shortening and baking spray. Creating your masterpiece when you're all finished, it's really up to you what you use. What I use is generally uh, different colored icings, I have some sprinkles, and what's really important for everyone who makes cake pops is the cake pop sticks. Um, you can find them at a lot of grocery stores, at a Walmart, and I found these at Michael's, which is a craft store. All the ingredients and materials, let's get started. The first step is to make the brownies. I know, we're making cake pops, right? It's okay, trust me. This is the best recipe that I've tried so far. So the first step on our brownie mix is to preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. with the baking spray. You definitely want to get the sides when you do this step just because we don't want the brownies to stick to the pan. Brownie ingredients into the mixing bowl. So I have the mix. <clears throat> I have one fourth cup of water. three-fourths cup of vegetable oil, and three eggs. Now remember that every brownie mix is going to call for different ingredients, so my ingredients might be different from yours. Ingredients? And you want to stir. Nice and smooth, looks like we're done. Brownie mix into the baking pan. Nice and evenly. See how it goes. Beautiful. You can always use your spoon to get the excess. That's our oven. It's ready to go. Also another tip is once you put all the brownie ingredients together, you definitely want to bake it as soon as possible or the mix can go bad. So we kind of just want to smooth this out. Okay, ready to bake. My brownie recipe calls for 20 minutes. So we'll put it in there for 20 minutes. And now we wait. Okay, so the timer just went off. So we're gonna take our brownies out of the oven and we're going to let them cool. Now that our brownie mix is cool, we come up to the next step, which is the messiest and what I think is the most fun step. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the brownie mix that has already been baked and put it into the mixing bowl. Chocolate frosting and you're going to spoon out about half of the frosting into the mixing bowl.
to thoroughly mix the frosting and the mix. You need to mix the mix until it's moist enough to make a large mound. Like so. Brownie mix into one inch balls using the palm of your hand. Like this. Okay. And then you are going to place it in the pan for now. And then you're going to do that with the rest of the mix. You should get about 30 cake pops out of this. Okay, so now that step is completed and we have exactly 30 cake pops and we are going to freeze these in the freezer for 10 minutes to harden. Okay, so I just pulled our cake pops out of the freezer and now for the next step is we pour our melting chocolate into a microwave safe bowl. And for this melting chocolate, we put it into the microwave for two minutes. Chocolate is completely stirred. We put a spoonful of the uh, vegetable shortening into there to help with the consistency and make the chocolate thinner. The trick is to dip your stick into the chocolate and then enter it into the cake pop about halfway. That way it'll harden. You can do this for all of them. chocolate so you need to keep the pace going. All right so what you're gonna do is you're going to take the cake pop with one hand and hold it diagonally into the chocolate and you're gonna take the spoon with the other hand and kind of drizzle it over. And one of the reasons I keep reiterating the fact that you need to keep the pace is the fact that the chocolate will start to get lumpy. So once you do that you can kind of tap the stick on the side for any excess chocolate to fall off and put it back into the pan. Okay, so as you can see, the cake pops have been decorated. And what I've been doing is I've been doing something easy and something that still looks good. So I've been taking my white cupcake icing and I've been kind of patiently doing kind of a swirl type look. And then I have a variety of colors of sprinkles. I'll use my purple real quick. Nice little sprinkle. And voila, a delicious cake pop. Today I'm going to teach you how to make cake pops. S seriously? <laughs> seriously? These treats, damn it. Cake pops are delicious. Stop it. No. Now, for the next step, uh, step you need to bake the. Mm. Now you're going to roll your brownie mix into the palm of your pan. <laughs>